we're going to go ahead and take a look at a relatively basic look at the distributed firewall on DC1. And I mean basic by just doing a couple of basic, I gotta stop saying basic, filtering rules just so we can see exactly how the process works. It's pretty simple, it's just like the edge firewall, it's processed top down. The most specific rules should be at the top, the more generic rules should be at the bottom, so that a exception gets checked before a rule and stuff like that. So now to do the the set up the distributed firewall, you need to come underneath the firewall. And then underneath here, we're going to look at the default layer three section, which is obviously going to be for layer three traffic. If you want to do layer two traffic, this is where you would do that. And if you wanted to look at any partner services, this is where you would put that. So underneath here, I'm going to do a basic rule where I'm going to prevent ping traffic. Like I'm going to literally just going to go in here and uh, actually before I do that, let me go ahead and say block. Let's do that to the default rule and click on publish. And I'm going to come over here to WinVM2 and I'm going to come over here to WinVM2. Win, or sorry, not been VM1. Let me come over here to LVM1, and we will send control delete. I may have to uh, choose a different choose a different Linux box. There we go. Actually, no, I don't want to use that one. I will use LVM3. Here we go. This guy will respond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. And if we come back over here, you're going to see that I, right now, I am not able to reach the internet. And if I was to refresh my web page or pull up my terminal and try to ping the IP address, it's not going to work. And that's because I turned on the distributed firewall. So the distributed firewall is blocking everything, right? So no bueno, right? Nobody wants to have all their traffic blocked. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this out, and I'm going to change that from block to allow, and then I'm going to publish the changes. As soon as it goes through, LVM3 should begin to ping again. And then if I was to go to, whoops, wrong thing to do. Let's come back over here to VM2, hit the up arrow, and now I can ping out to Google again. So everything's working again now that we've uh, fixed our distributed firewall the main rule now if you wanted to be more specific you can be I'm actually going to go ahead and add a rule so you have the sections and then you have rules that go inside of sections so in this case here I'm going to say uh, LVM3 to uh, win dash VM2 I think is what I'm working with when VM2 yep I'm going to I can't, I'm not going to define the name, what it's going to be, just the, other than the fact that it's where it's going. In the source, I'm going to come in here, and I have a bunch of options. I don't have any security groups created. That's why it's only showing up with one. But if I wanted to choose something else, I could. I'm going to choose a virtual machine, and the virtual machine I'm going to match on is going to be LVM3. I'm going to bump that to the right to be the selected object. Click on Save. And then I'm on the destination, I am going to... Actually, you know what? I'll leave it alone, and I'm going to come over here. It's going to be applied to the distributed firewall, and it's going to associate that there. I'm going to go ahead and apply this rule to all clusters on which the distributed firewall is installed. And then you could also do this to the edges, but I'm not going to. I'm going to switch this to block, and I'm going to log the traffic, and I'm going to publish the traffic. But make sure you're grabbing the right line item here. I'm going to go ahead and publish that. I'm going to expand it out. And if I go back over here to LVM3 and I try to ping again, click inside of there, the ping will be blocked. And if I come over here, I'm not going to get anywhere with my connectivity. So now I can be selective in here. I'm, I have a pretty broad set of topics. So this would be more of a, this would be a rule, right? We're saying I want to block all traffic to L, from LVM3 to any destination on, with any service. So basically I deny IP any any. 
I'm gonna add another rule and it's gonna sit up above here. I'm gonna say LVM3 ping. Actually, I'll go ahead and do UDP. Actually, yep, yeah, I'll do ping from any source. Come over here and I will grab the virtual machine, grab LVM3, bump him to the right, save. And I'm gonna go ahead and for any destination, I'm gonna go ahead and be specific to ping. I'm going to allow, allow him to ping out because right now he can't. So it's gonna, I do a query for ICMP, I see echo, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say echo reply as well. Bump them to the right, click on save. It's going to be allowed, but I'm also going to log and I'm gonna publish. Okay, so now that rule is sitting above the other rule. If I go back to LVM3, now my pings are working again. Now, if I come back over here, we'll see that I'm not able to reach the web server over the VPN. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, or I should say I'm not gonna be able to reach the, uh, the web server at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another entry, add a rule. This is gonna be, uh, this will be LVM3 HTTP, the source, will be, you guessed it, a virtual machine, and then I'll say LVM3, bump that to the right, save, and then my destination, or my service, will be, and I'll put in here, HTTP, and then I'm going to look for straight HTTP. So there's a bunch of them in here. I just have to scroll down until I find HTTP, bump that to the right, save, log, and then publish. And now if I go back over here to LVM3 and I stop it and I refresh, I get a web connection as you would expect. Now what's cool about this is I have logging turned on. So what we'll be able to do is hit the little statistics guy right here. That's what this is right there. Click that. And right now there's nothing really hitting it. It probably hasn't been enough time for the, the details to, uh, to trigger but we can see that the firewall rules are working the way that we want them to be. And that's basically what the distributed firewall is designed to do. So if you wanna be specific on a particular thing, that's what you would wanna do. Now, typically speaking, the way that I like to do stuff is, is this is a, a blacklist and a white or a blacklist model, where at the very bottom we're saying permit IP any any. We're just allowing everything to flow. If I wanted to be super specific between a source and destination and a specific service, then that would be a blacklist rule. I'm going to not allow that traffic to go through. There's also the opposite of that, where you deny IP any any at the end, but then you explicitly allow the flows that you want to go through. So for example, if I was to change the default rule to be block, and then I was to go up here and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these three rules real quick. And I'm going to delete them. Yes. I'm going to add a rule. All right, we haven't published anything yet. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna just put in for, I'll put in DC1 and I'll put in uh, DNS. And I'm going to say from any source to any destination as long as it is, you guessed it, go ahead and adjust this guy. I'm gonna put in here DNS, hit the enter key, and we're gonna see DNS and DNS UDP. I'm gonna click on, bump them to the right, and save. And I'm also gonna do the same thing, add another rule. This one's gonna go above. I'm gonna put DNS, or DC1-HTTP. The service will be, as soon as it wants to trigger, I'm gonna come over here and do HTTP, and I'm gonna grab the HTTP objects that are down here, HTTP and HTTPS, bump them to the right, save. And lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and add another rule. The last rule is gonna be DC1-ICMP, and I'm going to come over here to the service, or to, uh, yeah, the service, and I'm gonna grab ICMP, and I'm gonna grab echo and echo reply, bump them to the right, save, and I'm gonna turn on log for each one of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and publish.
So that's going to allow me, so I'm going to block anything else. Anything else that I have not explicitly permitted will not work. Okay, so if I go back over here to LVM Windows here, I should be able to ping to Google, which is working if I was to pull up uh, LVM3. If I was to grab my, my ping is working as expected. If I was to ping google.com, that should work all that good stuff that goes along with it. And so if I was to come back over here and look at statistics, after a while, this stuff will begin to, to populate, but right now it's not, it hasn't been long enough. It usually takes a couple minutes for it to register. And if I was to come back over here, let's see if it's been long enough. Yeah, see it hasn't been long enough for the, f the rule hits to come back in. Not that big of a deal, but this just gives you an idea of the capability of the the distributed firewall. Now, typically speaking, this is going to be stuff with inside of your east-west traffic. So you wouldn't want to use this necessarily for control uh, traffic going out to the internet, although you could. This is typically going to be for traffic with inside or east-west, traffic with inside of your data center. So keep that in mind when you're building your firewall rules. Again, I'm just playing around with it, right? I don't really have any um, specific things that I'm testing other than some DNS and some pings and an HTTP request that pops up. So basic testing, right? If you want to go in this, there's obviously a lot more to this than what I'm testing, but I'm trying to keep it high level and easy for just about anyone to play around with. If you have a specific rule set, make sure that you are capturing the traffic and understanding what that looks like and going from there. That is pretty much it for this video. I'm actually going to go ahead and revert these all back because I do not want to deal with issues as I go forward. I'm going to go ahead and delete these guys real quick. Yes. And I'm going to change this to a per, uh, to an allow and publish. That will clean up my rule sets. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the distributed firewall. Until next time, guys, thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch all of you in the next video.